वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज माई री आई बीन डेस्परेटली वेटिंग टू बी इन दिस सिटी टू विजिट दिस प्लेस सो आई एम इन उत्तर प्रदेश आई एम इन आगरा आई हैव बीन रियली वॉन्टिंग टू विजिट ताजमहल सिंस टू ईयर्स एंड आई फाइनली मेड इट इट्स रियली कोल्ड राइट नाउ यू कैन सी द फॉग द फॉगी रोड्स इट्स लाइक सेवन डिग्री सेल्शियस करेंटली एंड माई होटल इज जस्ट लाइक फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम ताज महल एंड आम going by walk right now i'm very excited to see taj mahal so it's 10 am in the morning right now and you can see taj mahal is completely covered with fog taj mahal is hidden with fog right now i hope i get a clear view where i'm going to go closer to the taj mahal now thing that we got to uh, wear these shoe covers so that we maintain the cleanliness of the taj mahal so that's a very nice concept that's been implemented here to the top look at the taj mahal is so close i'm standing right in front of taj mahal right now and i'm so excited about this that's such an amazing view only bad part is it's really foggy right now i wish i had come in summer time i could really see how the sun rays reflect on the taj mahal i've even heard it you can see a different color of it but i do not get to see that but that's okay it's really worth the visit to come to taj mahal so next to the mumtaz uh, tomb there's also shah jahan's tomb uh, tomb place so that's really nice and it's a symbol of love I'm done with the Taj Mahal and I really wanted to change into some Indian attire. So here I am with a nice chunni. So I've next come to the Agra Fort and that's the Agra Fort. It's pretty huge. So let's just get going. And it's around 4 kilometers from Taj Mahal and let's just go explore this fort now. Agra Fort was actually owned by the Mughal dynasty and uh, till the year um, 1693 if I'm appropriate on the year so it's a huge fort i must say and the entire fort is in red colors this is like the center of attra- attraction apart from the Taj Mahal and Agra city not many people know about the Agra fort but after Taj Mahal you should definitely visit the Agra fort This huge thing is the Jahangir's bath tub. So cool.
the view of the city back there. Interesting. So this is like another small mahal called as Khas Mahal. The garden area of this mahal is so beautiful. I'm being so happy about the weather and it's really nice and actually cold here but it's really good. If it was sunny then I wouldn't be able to walk this much. Oh my god, this photo is so massive. It's literally not ending. Look at that. Hello. Pretty long walk walking through the Agra food, and let me tell you, um, Agra is also famous for this sweet called Petha, mm. and there's a lot of variety available. I bought it in pan and the uh, normal flavor, and I've gotten onto a hot ride, and I'm going to a nearby market called Meena Bazaar. So let me tell you, this bazaar used to be um, put up in the Taj Mahal in the Agra fort before. But the government of Agra um, told not to do it anymore there, so they have a separate bazaar. And if you are in Agra, then do take these horse rides. He's charging about 10 rupees per kilometer. That's pretty affordable and really good. So you should enjoy that. Jama Masjid, it's a prayer hall. So you have to cross the market to come here. It's a really messy market, but um, it's still a nice monument to still visit if you're in Agra. So let's just go back to the Tanga Wala guy. So from my hotel, I took an auto to come till the Agra port and it costed me around 100 bucks and everywhere you travel, auto guys are gonna ask you 100 or 200 and he told me he'll take me out on a tour for 1000 rupees but then I ended up not going with him and I decided to take a tanga right now. So I roamed um, the Meena Bazaar, the Jama Masjid. I am going back to my hotel in 100 bucks.